Hello. This is Edward Robinson, also known as the Ma'at Sesh. Today I want to talk about loving self for this particular show. Um, one of the steps that I'm doing to love myself is to take care of my body. Um, there's a saying that says that your body is your temple. Um, that's very true. In the book, uh, Dick Gregory's um, Natural Food Guide, Cooking with Mother Nature, he analyzes that and takes it a step further. And he says that it's not necessarily you are what you eat. It's you are what you assimilate. And your body only is made um, divinely designed to assimilate certain foods. And a lot of the food that we eat is out of emotion. Um, by emotionally eating, in a sense, you cannot be nourished. And a lot of us are malnourished from very skinny people um, to very obese. So I believe what we have to do, we have to get back to the roots, uh, Mother Nature in a sense. When Dick Gregory was referring to Mother Nature, he was referring to cooking food by the sun, only eating natural food, um, not adulterated by cooking on the stove or putting things in the oven, baking them, um, improper ways, grilling. Because we have learned that when you do those when you do those um, procedures to food, it alters it. And a lot of food anyway, you're not able to break down. You can't break down the enzymes. Um, a lot of people drink um, cow's milk, but they're unaware that um, there's a vast percentage of people who cannot assimilate cow's milk who cannot assimilate the calcium. And regardless if you can or you can't, it creates excess mucus and phlegm inside your body. And it makes it harder for you to breathe. And if you can't breathe correctly, if the oxygen can't flow right, then there is a problem. Because when oxygen can't flow on a level that is conducive to what you need to do, you'll be performing at a level below that which you want to. You will not be able to perform at top speed. I know in order for me to live my dreams, in order to, for me to perform academically, uh, because I'm in school, I'm a double major in Africana Studies and Anthropology, uh, for me to be awake, for me to be alert, for me to be focused, the natural food route is the way that I want to go because I want to do what the best that I can do rather than uh, just getting by. And I believe that we live in a society uh, which it has been made the norm now to just do enough. And I don't want anybody around me or any system, I do, I do not want to be a part of any system that is comfortable with mediocrity. Me learning, one of the biggest inspirations to me were the ancient uh, Kemetic peoples, also known as the ancient Egyptian peoples, who, who crafted stone one one thousandth of an inch accurate um, to the pyramids that they were building, or the Merkut. Um, as it's known in, in Medunetta or hieroglyphics. Their accuracy. One of the things that Ivan Van Sertima stated before he uh, transitioned was that we cannot accept mediocrity in this society. Um, specifically as African people in the, in the diaspora. But I believe that is a universal concept that needs to be taken into account. And we have to really analyze where we want the world to go. I know I want the world better for um, the children which are alive now and the children that are to come. 
uh, because we can do so much better. We have um, the oil spill. We have the, the Louisiana Katrina of victims and survivors and their homes are still treacherous and it's still devastating down there. And what we have to do, we have to hold ourselves accountable for certain things and we have to take responsibility. And part of taking that responsibility is noticing that you are part of the problem if you are not part of the solution. So today, as you view this, I would like you to take part of being the solution to your problem. And one of those ways is to help others. And if we all can help each other, we can form a unified America and a unified world. And once we can unify, pretty much nothing can stand in our way of, of our dreams, you know. Um, I cannot get where I want to go until you are where you need to be, and you cannot get where you need to be until I am where I want to go. And once we adapt that, we'll not only see changes um, physically on the physical realm, but we'll see changes in our thinking and in our compassion and in our love. And that is one of the most beautiful things in the world. Edward Robinson, also known as the Ma'at, says, thank you.